Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we are going to learn how to multiply a two digit number by a one digit number. We are going to solve lot many examples in this video. So make sure you watch the entire video. But before starting with this topic, let me tell you that we have made videos on every chapter of class 2, class 3 and class 4 mathematics. We also have interesting worksheets and quizzes on each chapter. You can find all of them on our channel Learning Notebook. Also, you can see a list of all such videos on our website. The link to our website is below in the description box. So today in this video, first we will learn multiplication of a two digit number by a one digit number without regrouping or carrying. Then we will learn such multiplication with regrouping or carrying. And in the end, I will give you a worksheet for your practice. So let's start. And first understand multiplication without regrouping. Question is multiply 21 by 3. To multiply these two numbers, first we will write them in column as shown here. Now we will multiply them in two steps. In step 1, we will multiply 3 by 1. So, 3 into 1 equals to 3. So, we will write 3 at 1's place in the answer. Now, in step 2, we will multiply 3 by 2. Three into 2 equals to 6. So let's write 6 at tens place in the answer. So students, we have got the answer as 63. 21 multiplied by 3 equals to 63. Let's do next question. Multiply 60 by 4. So again, to multiply these two numbers, first let's write them in column as shown here. Now, we will multiply them in two steps. So in step 1, we will do 4 multiplied by 0. So 4 into 0 equals to 0. Why? Because we learned in the multiplication facts that when a number is multiplied by 0, the product is always 0. So let's write 0 in the answer at 1's place. Now in step 2, we will multiply 4 by 6. 4 into 6 equals to 24. So let's write 24 in the answer. So here 4 is at tens place and 2 is at hundreds place. So our answer is 240. So students, we just learned how to multiply a two digit number by a one digit number without regrouping or carrying. Students, we have made videos on every chapter of class 2, class 3 and class 4 mathematics. We also have interesting maths quizzes, worksheets, working models, activities and projects on each chapter. So I would suggest you to check out our channel 
learning notebook. Now let's understand multiplication of two digit number by one digit number with regrouping. Question is multiply 34 by 5. So after writing these numbers in column form, we will do step number 1 where we will multiply 5 by 4. So 5 into 4 equals to 20. Now 20 is a two digit number. So we need to regroup 20. Students, what does 20 mean? 20 means 2 tens and 0 ones. So we will carry 2 to the tens place and 0 comes in the answer. Now let's move to step number 2. Here we will multiply 5 by 3. 5 into 3 equals to 15. But we also have 2 as carry due to regrouping in step 1. So, what to do with this carry? Yes, we will add it. We will do 15 plus 2 carry equals to 17. So, let's write 17 in the answer. 7 comes at Tens place and 1 comes at hundreds place. So, students, 34 multiplied by 5 equals to 170. Let's do next question. Multiply 99 by 2. So, after writing these two numbers in column form, we will multiply 2 by 9 first. So, 2 into 9 equals to 18. Now, 18 is a two digit number. So, we need to regroup 18. 18 means 1 tens and 8 ones. So we will carry 1 to the tens place and 8 comes in the answer. Now let's do step number 2 where we are going to multiply 2 by 9. 2 into 9 equals to 18. But we also have 1 as carry due to regrouping in step 1. So we will add this carry to 18. We will do 18 plus 1 carry equals to 19. So let's write 19 in the answer. So we will write 9 at tens place and 1 comes at hundreds place. So we have got the answer as 198. So now, students, I am sure you have learned how to multiply a two digit number by a one digit number with or without caring.
we also have a separate video to learn multiplication of a two digit number by another two digit number you can find the link to this video here on the top and below in the description box now in the end i am giving you a worksheet for your practice so students do solve these questions Do watch my other videos and share my channel and my videos with your friends and family. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.